All right, gents, I received a great question the other day. It goes like this. Antonio, I took your advice and I purchased a beautiful black leather jacket. Congratulations. My question is what shoes should I buy to match my coat? Should I buy black sneakers? Should I buy black dress shoes? Should I buy black boots? Well, personally, I don't think I'd go with any of those. What am I talking about? Gents, find out in today's video. So let's start things off by addressing the elephant in the room. There is no rule out there, no style rule that says you need to match your leather jacket with your shoes. That being said, I do think there are three guidelines you can follow to make that combination look amazing. Guideline number one, your shoes and jacket should complement one another. They don't need to exactly match. So when two items complement each other, they naturally enhance each other. This combination right here, they're not matching. You've got a dark brown in chocolate with a suede material. Here you've got a light brown with a smoother leather material. Do these work? I think so. They're both browns. They're in the same family. There isn't a whole lot of clash and the styles, which I'll get into here in a second, they just work. I think this combination is solid. Sticking with the suede theme, I now have an olive green. And in my opinion, this complements it even more. Why that little bit of contrast? And now these boots are going to dominate. It's a unique color. It's a unique style, Jodhpur style mixed with this jacket right here. I think this would be a killer combination. Now, what about this combination right here? I think it's fine. It's solid, gets the job done, isn't going to be anything to really pop, but right here, the shoes, again, are going to take center stage, classic white. This is a staple in a lot of young men's wardrobe, and I think it would actually work great with a leather jacket. So with all that being said, what was my issue with wearing black shoes with a black jacket? Actually nothing. My issue is with him going out and buying shoes specifically to match the black jacket. I would say, look in your wardrobe and see what you've already gotten there. I would say when you look in your wardrobe, look for gray. If you've got gray shoes, what's beautiful about these, it's a non-color. It's going to match any color out there, including black, and it's going to work, I think, as a great combination. Matching a dark brown with black, I think is an excellent combination. A lot of people don't want to mix brown and black, but when it comes to dark browns, especially with darker overtones like this one has right here, I think this is going to look beautiful. These boots are going to be classic, just elegant, really subdued, but you can see the texture right in here. This would be a really nice combination. Another option is oxblood. Deep maroon colors like this work perfectly with black. And a quick shortcut, look at the sole. If the sole is black, then it will go with a black jacket. And with that being said, if you want to go out there and buy the black boots, pair of Chelsea's like that, and you want to wear black with black, that is a fine combination as well. Except for these black shoes right here. And let me explain that takes us to the next point. Pay attention to the style. The style of this shoe right here is a Balmoral cap toe Oxford. This is a classic dress shoe that has closed lacing. This is a dress shoe that should be worn with a suit, not with a casual piece like a black leather jacket. Now this next dress shoe style, much more casual. We've got a classic blucher. You can tell this because it has an open lacing system. And that's when the back part, the quarter of the shoe goes on top of the vamp as you see right here. This is made to be worn in more casual situations with odd trousers and a sports jacket or even with a pair of jeans and a leather jacket. So this combination right here, this blue suede moto jacket mixed in with this pair of bluchers in this dark brown sleek leather, I think this would be a solid combination. A better combination though, those brown leather sneakers. Remember these earlier? They worked okay with that other jacket. This one right here, because of the texture, because of the color difference, I think this is going to pop. This combination right here is a winner. Now, what about these gray suede Chelsea's? In my opinion, a little bit too much suede, even though the color isn't the same, but that suede with suede, yeah, just not something I would put together. If you disagree though, let me know in the comments. This combination right here, even though the colors could somewhat work, the style is completely off. This jacket right here, heavier, casual. These shoes right here, whole cuts, beautiful, classic, made for probably a more casual suit, but a suit nonetheless, not a suit of leather. Now this next point I've alluded to throughout the video, but I want to be really clear. Have one piece that dominates, one piece that is going to get the compliments. I love these shoes. I love this jacket, but would I wear them together? Probably not. It's too much. I mean, these beautiful Chelsea boots right here with the double monk strap right here. Every time I wear these, I get compliments. Women notice, other men notice. People ask me where I got these shoes. They're beautiful. I love them. 
And here's the thing, when I wear them with this jacket, the jacket is going to get the compliments. Why? It's just a bit brighter. It's a bit more unique. Yeah, you could pull off this combination. I think it looks good, but I do feel it's wasting some of your best complimented pieces. And that's why I like to dress well sometimes because it makes you feel like a million bucks when other people notice that you've got style. So if you've got a few individual signature pieces, don't throw them all together. They're competing against each other, not complimenting each other and building each other up. And by the way, if you're interested in getting a suede jacket made in a unique material, a unique color that's going to help you stand out from the crowd, guys, you need to check out this project I'm working on. I'm going to link to it down in the description. I'm collecting emails and information of guys that want to know about this. If I get enough interest, I'm going to actually talk to a manufacturer, look to put out maybe two to three jackets, but I want to get you on this email list. Guys, I'm not going to spam you. I just simply want to know, are people interested? I'm going to be emailing people saying, hey, these are the colors that I can get. This is the price point. What what do you guys think? So if this at all sounds interesting, again, I will link to it down in the description. You'll be able to go over, enter your email address, and I'll update you with more videos and information about what's going on with this project. So what video to watch next? How about my ultimate guide to buying the perfect leather jacket? If you're going to spend the money, you want to know how to find the right leather jacket for you. In this video, I cover everything you need to know. Because, yeah, if you don't follow this stuff, you're going to make a mistake. And that's what I, I try to educate you here at Roman Real Style. So, guys, go check it out. It's a solid video.